It don't even give you a countdown no more, family. This is some bull. Come, Facebook, what are you doing? God damn, now, now I got to go and start my own. Well, I got to go and do it fast. I was doing it anyway. Start my own media company because this is ridiculous, man. It's time for the toast. Family, it's time for the toast. It's time for the toast. Did that work? No, that don't work. All right, the lighting is horrible. Then I switched the camera on the brother. I don't know what is going on. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I probably got to invite people in now, right? Who knows? I don't know. We'll see if anybody come, right? All right, so we're about to do our toast. It's libation time. It's libation time. It's libation time. So bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. All right, and I know some of y'all that's uh, on on my YouTube side of the family, right? Y'all wondering, like, brother Hot Tim, where's the video from yesterday? Y'all did you did the toast? You posted up the toast, but you didn't post up um, the the lesson for the day. Well, I'm gonna post it up because I had um, I went to uh, the committee. New Year's celebration, and I posted some stuff, and I had to cut it and stuff, and I finished cutting it last night, and I uploaded to YouTube, and I probably, I'm going to share that with the world um, um, later on today. Um, also, the lesson for the day, I'm going to uh, the Per Aunt, given by the Tawi Village, and try to get the, some of the permission from the elders to see about broadcasting pieces of that, or interview some of the elders that's there. Uh, with me, because like I said, I'm trying to integrate all that I'm doing with a wider community, right? You know what I'm saying? Because Giamme, you know, Giamme is, we, um, I have to go in a different direction now, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to start linking back up with, with some of the elders that I came up with. Uh, it's about that time, right? So I want to say great Iman to y'all, right? Um, for those that may have started on the last 21 day challenge, for me, um, this is 21 days since I stopped the fast and I'm on the last day of my 21 challenge, my 21, my second 21 day challenge for at least this round. Um, and I, I said I was going to master habits, get rid of dead weight and re-engage my wings. Now, um, for those who don't know. I had a a, a, a severe uh, tobacco habit. Yeah, but I, I like to have a, I, I'm just saying. So for this 21 day, uh, this 21 day Inclusive Challenge, right? Um, I focused on mastering that habit, at least for this time period. So for 21 days, I haven't touched any tobacco. I'm gonna continue as long as I can. So now the next step. On the 21 day challenge for me, I have me a, um, I, I'm getting ready for a, a ne the next phase. I still got to finish this phase. I'm not done till till tomorrow morning, but I start a new one tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning, I am working on uh, mastering my finances. You know, because those of you that's been tracking, y'all know that some days I'll be balling, other days I'll be slumming. Like today, there's no, there's no. Um, uh, no smoothie, right? I'm slumming today, right? You know, I'm almost out of ambrosia, right? And you know, that's because I'm horrible at managing my personal finances. So I'm going to use the next 21 days to work on mastering my finances so that one, I can have a cushion set aside so that when I'm running low on the ambrosia, all I gotta do is go and extract a little bit of dough and brew some ambrosia you know keep the uh, fresh fruit and the frozen fruit and some frozen vegetables and some uh, fresh vegetables available so that I can improve my my diet and my health you know what I'm saying so hey so you know we're about to do it whoever's out there you know what I'm saying let me know who it is they done switched Facebook on me so I don't know what the hell's going on so I'm gonna have to I need, matter of fact, I need to go and turn on my other tablet. You know, we got multiple tablets. I got one down here that just stopped working on me uh, mysteriously. I want to see what's going on. What is it? What's going on out here in the world? Because I can't see who's seeing me, right? 
I see somebody is with me. Oh, what's up, Miss Aisha? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I still ain't got the body butter, but I love you anyway. How's everything going? Right? Um, so now, <clears throat> so I guess that's how I can see who who's on here. So, but if I do that, I can't see what you say. All right. So we're gonna do our live. Um, we're gonna do our form of libations. We're gonna toast, right? And the undisputed toasted champion of the world, over two hundred days straight. All right. Before we get in that, I want to make sure y'all know we got this event popping off. Brother, why case is coming? Okay, I didn't know you was living out of town. My fault. Um, injected racial scripts. Now, um, he will be here next near or August the 11th, 7 p.m. And that session will be free. But now, we have what's called River of Touches. The uh, Saturday. Oh, my God. That's... Oh! Ah! All right, I gotta do them push-ups. All right, so now we got the River of Touches part of the workshop, which is ninety-nine dollars. I suggest people come out. Start. You need to start registering for it because we're gonna be running out of space real soon, right? Um, that'll be next week, right? So now I gotta hurry up because I got. I'm going to the per arm today, um, so that I can see how that works. Um. Uh, we are in a comedic new year, right? And I told y'all some of the stories yesterday. And the um, now, what I want to talk with y'all about is the the hero's journey, right? Um, once again, I you know I, I always go back to this. I always talk about the hero's journey. When I'm doing it, I'm gonna drink the water so I'm gonna get done because I'm about to go in, family. All right, uh, peace to Bryant Tyner as well. As Miss Aisha Essex, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm about to pour these libations. I love, I, uh, yeah, I love out of town. I love. Do you want small or big jar? Oh uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you got. Cause right now I'm slumming. You know what that means, right? So, cause I ain't got no bottles to. I ain't got no bottles to trade with you today. All my bottles, I sold all my bottles. All right. So drink your water with me. All right, we got somebody else on. So we got people dropping in and out, but it's cool. I love all of y'all. All right. So, now, the hero's journey, family. Now, this is this is the important part for me, right? As we start talking, because we talk about we're in a comedic new year. We are in a special time and space at this point in time. And I was thinking about the hero's journey, man. You know, and we covered it once again on my channel where we talk about the call, the separation, initiation, and reintroduction, right? And I want y'all to show I want to show you how real this is, is in how real this is in your life. Right? All of us that have children and all of us were children at one point in time. But if we go back far enough and along if far enough and long enough, we can see the hero's journey that each one of us took in the birth process. Right now, and I, and I, cause it's gonna get kind of, kind of nasty for some of y'all, right? But when your father, basically, and your mother came together, right? You had your mother's egg, you had your father's sperm, right? They came together, right? And in coming together, now, cause this is the issue. There was a major race, a major challenge, where, um, where in a sense, your father's sperm entered an unknown place. And travel in total darkness to seek out something that they didn't even know they were seeking. But they would know it when they found it. That's called the hero's journey. And then when they found it, they fertilized the egg. Which means that the sperm and the egg came together and became one. And in becoming one, and in that bliss, in that moment, they eventually, eventually had to surrender who they were to become who they were going to be. Now, if each of the, if the sperm and the egg held on to their personal ego, held, held on to who they thought they were, then it would have been a stillbirth. But they surrendered, and they became one. And in that becoming one, they became two. 
which is very painful and very stressful. It's called mitosis. Then in that becoming two, they became four. In that becoming four, they became eight. In that eight, they became 16. And on and on and on and splitting. And in all that splitting, there was pain. There was suffering, right? And you had to surrender who you was to eventually all the cells started forming and individualizing and started working together to formulate you, right? And then after you had completed that part of your journey, right, your initiation, your separation, your initiation, you was reintroduced to the world through birth, right? Now, boom, this is where we kind of losing that family, right? Our children are being born in institutions that don't belong to us. And the first face that they see is not ours. Right? You have to understand that when you really look at African tradition, right? Because I remember this now. I remember this because I was blessed enough to be around when a brother, a, look, a young brother by the name of Kamisi was born. Right? Um, when Kamisi was born, uh, Mama Condi sealed off the whole damn house. She took she took my daughter Fua up into a room and surrounded her with sisters. And when Kimisi was born, now I wasn't in the room because they wouldn't even let me in the house. They wouldn't let the daddy. It was just all women. You knock on the door, they crack open the door. You open this goddamn you no, know, no men and no. Like damn. Like man. But the point that I'm saying is when Kamisi was born, there was a celebration with him entering the world. We used to, in a sense, welcome our children because we understood they was coming from a journey. But now when they come, they got, got masks on, you got different colored people and shit, you lucky you even get to hold your baby. Right? You know what I'm saying? There's no song, there's no music, there's no nothing, there's no welcoming for the child. Right? Because I know a lot of y'all like, well, what about the germs and the bacteria? You can't escape that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, we could cut down on, on it, but you can't escape that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the germs and the bacteria that help build the child's fucking immune system. I'm sorry. I mean, but, but the whole point is, that's part of the hero's journey. That's real. Right? And we don't celebrate the children when they come in. Right? So our children come in confused. Our children come in lost. Right? They, I mean, it's like, where the, where the fuck am I at? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we don't do nothing to alleviate the confusion. Right? We, you know, we put them on the, on the mother's chest and let the baby start suckling and stuff. But there's no celebration for that child. There's no, there's no, um, there's, there's no introduction to this child's family for that child for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Because it's supposed to be at least the immediate family. And I know some of y'all be like, well, my mom came up in here, blah, blah, blah. But where the party at? You know what I'm saying? We need to be partying when our children are born. I'm just, I'm just being honest. We need, to be, we need to be having a celebration for our children. Naming ceremonies, all that stuff. Because we need to really start ritualizing the lives. And really start, we, really start, we really need to start incorporating this hero's journey into our children's lives. So that they understand that their life is important, right? Because this is one of the things that, that came to me yesterday, man. A lot of us don't feel that our lives are really that important, right? We don't, we don't feel that we measure up to a lot of the great people that we hear about, right? When in fact, you are beyond them. I love my ancestors, right? But right now, you know what I'm saying? Right now, there's somebody that could do more for my people than Marcus Garvey. You know why? Because you're present. There's somebody right here, right now, that could do more for my people than Martin Luther King. You know why? Because you're present. Martin Luther King is gone. There's somebody here right now that could do more for my people than Booker T. Washington. You know why? Because you're present. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm just like, oh, shots out. What's up, Miss Jackson? Right? I just need y'all to understand, family, this is real. Right? This is not play. This is not play. Right? See, because a lot of us, we, we limit ourselves. I got to drink my water. We limit ourselves because, because our whole life, we've been trying to measure up. And we feel that we don't measure up. And in some ways, it's true. We possibly don't. But we have something over all the ancestors. We're alive. 
We're here. We're present in this moment, and each of us have something to contribute. But many of us are so ashamed of who we are, or so ashamed of our situations, that we're hiding our light under a bushel, or hiding our light. We're hiding our light, right? We're not allowing our expression, right? And, and, and we're limiting ourselves. And family, I'm like, yo, it's time for us to start our journey. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I in what is it? It's the eighth month. I got six months and I'm gonna be fifty. So I need to I'm I'm putting out an announcement. I got no more I got no more time for suckers. None. So if you calling me with a dream and that's it and you're not moving on it, stop calling me. You know what I'm saying? If you're not moving on it, no I I got more time behind me than I got in front of me. I want to spend as much time as I got right now when I hit 50 with those people that's trying to move and trying to build. That's, that's working. That's in process. Not just dreaming. Not just wanting to discuss. But building. Because, my, listen, listen, when I leave here, when I leave here, I have to leave my kids better than I left myself. And when I speak about my kids, I'm not just talking about Cleve. Sasha, Gina, Wisdom. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just talking about my blood children. I'm talking about all my children. I'm talking about my nieces, my adopted nieces and nephews. Right? I'm talking about those who, who are... I, family, we got to understand. Like, we, we get into this extended family thing. It gets deep. It gets deep. And we have a responsibility to lead these young people better than... In a better world than we are in. So now, back to the, back to the point. I'm going to... Uh, the per on this morning, see what I could do, but we're gonna we're gonna put his libations once again. Today is a money, right? Money is a day of faith. Uh, the mighty principle today is harmony. Um, the M seven is trust. The color is red. Um, the hermetic law is gender. Um, the male name, if you was born on this day, is Quasi. The female name is Akusua. Um, another announcement. I think one of my elders has something to do with something called Columbus Civilian Community Board. Um, one of the elders passed this out. Community Code of Conduct presents the Community Code of Conduct Training Workshop. Without a standard of people in a community will be disrespected, disregarded, and abused. That's a quote by Kahari in a horror. Oh, okay, this is Kahari's thing. Um, addressing the ongoing and escalating deterioration in our communities. Specific training on the road out, the road out codes of conduct. How can you make the codes part of your life, your family, your community? How do I get involved? How do I become a member of CCCB? Choose a date and location that's convenient for you and bring a friend. Let us know that you'll be there by email and visit uh, us at triplecb.org for more information. Now, one of the things that I like about this is they're talking about codes. We do have to have codes, right? But like I said, in certain communities, some of us, we already got codes. They're called principles, right? Start living your goddamn principles. Stop just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, start living your principles. Our ancestors, I mean, we got principles, right? So right now, I'm still experimenting on... The golden root. So I'm gonna take this with my water, and we're gonna about to get into this toast. I know I didn't say that about 15 times, but y'all know how I am. I'm excited. So yesterday, uh, during the uh, committing New Year celebration, um, I had I had the honor to be uh, involved in an emotional emancipation circle. Um, I didn't get the sisters. One of the uh, one of the sisters' name, I think her name is Cassandra. I didn't get the other sister's name, but they led the class, and it was a very powerful class. And um, from their list today will be Joan and Wolof. At least you know I take them and apply it to the desk. Me sense of honor and self-respect. Um, the con ethics will be goodness of human nature. The tra uh, traditional Yoruba. Or attributes of good character will be Oju Ona, originality, right? So it's like, brother, I tell you, what does all this stuff mean? This means, like, for example, you let's say you don't like the Guzasaba, 
right? But you like the laws of my eye. You have a principle that you could practice today. You have a principle that you could be looking for today, right? I, my, the goal far as the major goal of the Ngusa Saba Challenge, not only is to, to kind of change your life, but is to change your, your, your world view, change how you see the world. And one of the ways you change the world is by changing how you label things. So rather than labeling the days what um, West Asians gave us, I decided to say we're going to start labeling the days what our ancestors gave us, right? So they, you know, we gave the world the idea of harmony. We gave the world the idea of Imani or faith. We gave the world the idea of the hermetic laws. We gave the world these things. So why not use them and utilize them to start teaching our children? It's to a point now with my children, when they hear me say a day of the week, and I'm not saying one of the principles, they're like, you owe me seven push-ups. I love it. I hate doing the push-ups, but I love it. Right? All right. Um, let's keep it moving. Those that know the rules, you know you got to drink your water. So now what I'm doing, I'm doing a mix this morning. So I got what I call the death eater vinegar, right? So when you let ambrosia sit for a long time, you get a vinegar. Right, if you look in there, you see it ain't even really that fizzy. It don't even let off no. It ain't even brewing no more. So if I was to drop some honey in there, they it get busy. But this is at a vinegar state, which means it's a little bit more powerful. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of that death eater vinegar, and this is not regular ambrosia. This is made from um, um, dandelion, dandelion root, and burdock root, which are two of the most powerful herbs in the world. And then we got. Then we got the classic Justice League, right? The Justice League. This is that. Um, this is lemon, lime, and ginger ambrosia. Let's see if y'all can hear it. Man, it take a long time for that to build up, but when it does, So, all right. All right, this is an excerpt from the SBA, The Reawakening of the African Mind. I got this at the EEC, um, the Emotional Emancipation Circle. Um, this is something by, I don't remember who it was by, but. Maya, to re reawaken the African mind, we must ensure that the goal of our educational and socialization process is to understand and to live up to the principles of Maya. <clears throat> Maya is a comedic term that represents the singular whole for the concepts of truth, justice, order, righteousness, balance, reciprocity, and harmony. Ancient African socialization process shows us that communities can function and be productive when everyone, young and old, has a sense of purpose and value that contributes to the community's well-being. To, to arrive at Maya, however, requires SBA, another comedic term which refers, or SPA, or another comedic term which refers to teaching, wisdom, and study. It is through SBA, or, S or SPA, that the great African civilization and antiquity were produced. All right, so it says spa, another comedic term which refers to teaching, wisdom, and study. The aim of many African education systems was rooted in cosmic view, in a cosmic view. In other words, all African systems were based in a view of the cosmos, something that Europeans or West Asians, as Brother High Timsk says, that's not in there, I'll put that in there, called metaphysics. This cosmic view has a story of creation and the human place within it. Africans viewed humans as a part of the cosmos, which is itself divine. Humans, therefore, are also a part of the divinity, and we must see ourselves in this way. This suggests an education, socialization, aim of identification with the divine. Africans' beliefs reveal a concern with the eternal, as opposed to the mere temporal. The spiritual rather than the mere material in the Nile Valley, this focus on the eternal and the spiritual expresses itself in the universe's impetus to build for eternity. Theophile Obinga, 1986, explicates the concept 
this way. My eye is concerned with all of the spheres of reality. There are five realities, the divine or sacred world, the cosmos or the universe, the state of governance, the society or the human community, and the human being. Each of these realities have five dimensions of significance, religious, cosmic, political, social, anthropological. Thus, the five realities have together 25 dimensions of significance. This, Maya, this is Mayat's number. It means that because of Mayat, the sacred world must be balanced. The cosmos must be balanced. The divine world is to itself, to the state, to the society, and to humans. The state must be balanced to the sacred, to the cosmos, to itself, to society, and to humans. The so society must be balanced to the sacred, to the cosmos, to the state, uh, to itself, and to humans. The humans must be balanced to the divine world, to the cosmos. So everything needs to be balanced to each other. In Kemet, age-old temples which remain are marked with the stories of humans' life struggling to harmonize with the divine, ever conscious of a judgment day in which a person hoped to confess to a rigorous virtuous life as the price for reuniting with the highest form of the divine. 42 Principles These patterns of virtues were synthesized into the concept of Maya. The single concept has been rendered by the multiple English term truth, justice, righteousness, order, reciprocity, balance, and harmony. Speaking and doing Maya set the standard of human behavior as a vehicle for uniting with div the divinity. This is relevant to African study as with spa, teaching, learning, wisdom, and study of collectively deep thought. We can gain sia or insight, which enables us to understand my eye. Alright, so let's get to this toast, family. Get it, let's get it ready. Alright, so first, give an honor to the ancestors, right? No, my fault. Give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We call that great energy. We call that great power. We call on it, right? Even though we already know that it's present, we call this energy and we lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on those that made it possible for us to exist. We call on those whose shoulders we stand upon right now. We call on those right now. We call on them and ask them to be present in our lives. We ask them to, to remember us as we lift our glass and we remember them. We toast our ancestors on a daily basis and we lift up our glasses and we, 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 we send out shots. We praise them. We remember them, right? So we call on our personal ancestors, right? So right now, take some time. Call on your ancestors because I'm about to call on mine. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Texas, Anna Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, uh, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, uh, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., um, Katie Ellis, uh, Alvaro Brown, um, uh, Gina Gaines, uh, Mama Malika, uh, Barbara Twiggs, uh, Jamon Jones, um, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman L, um, Tony Clark, Mark Walsh, uh, Normal X, Sapet Ma Ra, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, um, Kojo Kamal, um, Elder, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder um, Millie Dixon. Um, that's all I can think of right now. We lift up our glass. We say, I say, from there, we'll move on to this present moment. Of course, we know that we are right now in Imani, but even deeper, not only are we in Imani, we are in a sacred time. We are in the sacred five days that our ancestors extracted out of natural time and put it in sacred time. So right now, we are in sacred time, family. So we lift up our glass and we say, I say, from there, we move on. <laughs> From there, we move on to our children. We lift up our glass and we salute our children. We salute our children's children onto affinity, right? Because we are responsible for everything that they learn right now, 
Yeah, we are responsible, just like we was talking about. They set up, we, our ancestors set up a system where we recognize the divine, sacred world, the cosmos, and the universe, the state of governance, the society, the human community, and the human being, which consists of the family. And that's our responsibility still. Even though we, most of us want to turn it over to the damn school, that's not the school's responsibility. That's our responsibility as a community, and we need to take it seriously. So we lift up our glass. Last but not least, I toast you, family, right? This toast goes out to you. Any issues that you want to that you want to raise right now, your ancestors are present. Right now, the energy is present. Lift up your glass, right, and call it out. If you want to type it up, type it up. I shout it out over the over the line, right? We all got issues. We all got challenges. We all got victories. We all got joys. We all got things that we need to celebrate. We all got things that we need help with. So let's start lifting our glass and start speaking what we need into existence. Right? Then after we do the speaking, we start the work. So we lift up our glass and we say I say. I say. I say. I wish you peace, power, and 100 years, family. I'm up out of here because I got to get over to this program because as usual, Brother Hot Tim is running late. You know, it's kind of, I don't, I, I just need to have some damn theme music everywhere I go, right? Because I, you know, shit. All right. So I'm looking at some of these pictures, right? On here. Some of y'all got cameras. It has a camera by your picture. Can, can somebody tell me what it means when you have a camera by by your picture? It's a little green green camera that's by the picture. Can somebody tell me what that means? Does that mean that you're you're broadcasting too, or what does it mean? Because like some people got it, and some people don't. I don't know what's going on. All right. So I'm gonna finish my drink. I'm gonna iron my shirt, and I'm about to get out of here, family. I wish you peace, power, and joy. And of course, 100 years, right? Um, I will do my best. To get this uploaded, put on YouTube. Also, um, oh, shots out to Brother Destiny, also known as Pia Tomos. I'm going to get back with you. I seen your call, but I was in the midst of a deep conversation yesterday. And uh, shouts out to my brother Preston Harrison. I, P Preston Harrison, I got an opportunity to talk with my brother yesterday. All right? Shouts out. Those that know, know, right? Peace.